throughout Red October, Philly's pride has soared to brand new heights. So CBS News Philadelphia's Nikki Dementry introduces us to a roofer and artist teaming up to paint the town red. It was stamped on it. In Port yeah. Richmond. The hardest part was the stars, honestly. Philly's pride is screaming from the rooftops. That was the main thing, was the Philly's P. And it's thanks well to these two. Hi, I'm Scott the Roofer. And I'm PJ the Artist. Let's, Let's go, go Phillies. Phillies. Nearly a decade ago, Scott Tisdale started putting his ST roofing trademark on the projects he did. Fast forward, and Tisdale linked up with PJ Villot. Soon, bird's eye view murals were popping up across the city. You got to stick out somewhere in Philly, and Philly needs some love, so what better way than do it than this way? This red October, PJ went all in on the fightings. I had to look at the logo just to get the lettering right, but everything else I freehanded. This piece on Belgrade Street, from the city skyline to the Phillies logo, and of course, dancing on my own, took him about an hour and a half to do. PJ has done others too. Take a look at the fanatic. We work really hard on a daily basis. It's actually a blessing to. It's actually getting recognized, and people are actually seeing what we're doing. Tisdale says if you get a roof from him, the art comes free. PJ also does commission pieces. If we win, it's going to be crazy. We can, we can all be dancing on Broad Street, Cotman, all that. And if the Phillies do win, Scott and PJ have another rooftop and a new piece all ready to go. Let's go, Phillies! Nikki Dementry, CBS News, Philadelphia. And you know what? The duo, the duo just wrapped up one more design this afternoon. Let's show it to everybody. Here it is. Ooh, PJ painted the Grease the Poles inspired graffiti art. You can see the Cobman and Frankfurt Street signs on there. This was done at a customer's house right off of Fifth Street. The pair tells CBS News Philadelphia they are ready for game seven. Aren't we all? Aren't we all?